War Diary Day 513 of Russia's war against Ukraine. So this is Taras Shevchenko Park in the centre of Kyiv and it's a rather glorious day as you can see. The issue I'm going to talk about today is what Putin is doing in the south. He's bombing Odessa again and again and again. In particular, he's bombing the docks and they've destroyed 60,000 tons of grain and the material, um, the, the kind of whatnotery at the docks uh, that um, stores the grain and the conveyors that uh, supply it to the ships and he's broken or torn up the agreement whereby Ukrainian grain was allowed to go in ships across the Black Sea and then out to Africa and the Middle East. The reason he's done this is because the war isn't going well for him. There's a kind of grinding stalemate, but I believe um, sooner rather than later, the, um, the stalemate will turn into Ukrainian victory. But remember, the British and the Americans got bogged down in Normandy for about a month before they broke through and managed to pulverize the Germans. And I think something like that is happening right now. However, his goal is to, the effect of it is to cause a hunger war, to starve Africa in particular. What this means down the track is that there are many Africans who will say, I can't stay in my country anymore. I have to get out because I can't eat. And therefore that will put massive pressure on us in Europe and it will help people in the far right, who of course are Vladimir Putin's natural allies. So the best way of stopping this is to give Ukraine the necessary equipment, the fighter jets, and now demining tanks, which can speed up Ukrainian victory. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.